as we're making a late dash to Salisbury today because we're actually going to watch Laverstock versus Moneyfields but we're cutting a bit fine time wise but we will get there and we will bring you our latest vlog. to the clubhouse at Lavastock Ford FC. It's like a social club, it's really big, quite spacious, two sort of rooms. We're kind of sat in the quieter room in a minute, just so you can hear me on camera. Um, very busy in the other room. Got a good range of beers on tap. I've got myself a Carling, okay, Craig's drinking it. Classy. Did you say classy? I'm a classy girl, Craig. I was um, buying as well. And it's um, <laughs> for only zero for Craig. Um, not bad, that all came Driving. in. All came in sort of under eight quid, so that's not bad, too bad. Uh, lots of memorabilia up on the walls, we like all that sort of stuff. I mean, if you look over there, some good foot stuff up on the wall. And a monkey reading a paper over there. <laughs> yeah, of course, a monkey reading a paper. What more could you want from the clubhouse? I mean, in this room, we've got a dartboard up, there's shirts on the wall. And, and you're talking sort of location to the ground, it's literally right outside you. It's about two second walk to the turnstile, so it's kind of perfect if you stay till five till three. Have a couple of beers, walk into the pitch. Stockholm Ford Football Club. Uh, I think we were uh, established 1958, so many many years ago. Uh, Salisbury side, a uh, little village side. We've always been known as that. Got promoted last season, uh, well, well, season before last. So we come up uh, first year back in the Prem uh, last year. Finished eighth. I think it was the first time in 11 years we've been back in the Prem. So um, yeah, I've been here. This is my ninth season. Wow. So obviously with COVID, <laughs> COVID two or three seasons stopped us. Uh, yes, mate, it's not. Yeah, sorry, but um, <clears throat> yeah, so two or three seasons obviously affected by COVID. So um, yeah, we uh, we got promoted, finished eighth last season. We were written off, but we thought this year we'd um, we'd be able to improve, and we seem to have done all right. And to like local communities, how important are football clubs like Laverstock and Ford? Yeah, massively important. I mean, a, a lot of our lads are, are local. We've got a really good reserve side, all local lads, 23s, 18s, and youth all the way down to kids under sixes. So it's great for the youth setup, which is what it's all about. It's always been known as a community club, as a family club. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's, it's always been known as a family club, and uh, I think it's uh, it's one of the stronger names locally for the community. Yeah. And how important are things like social clubs, like the major one you got here for the income it generates? The yeah, club. well, a sports club, but definitely. We have a cricket season um, in the uh, in the summer months, you know, so that's great. When it eventually stops raining, it'll be great to <laughs> yeah. come and see the Skylarks come and play. So a little promotion for them. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's great because we've got the darts, the pool. It's great for the, the, the locals, the social side of things. Um, and it's a members club, so this is all drilled by members. The football is a big, uh, a big revenue maker for the for the club. That's what keeps us going. So yeah, that and functions that we have here. Right, that's brilliant. Thank you very much for your time. Nice Appreciate one. that. Come man. Thanks, lads. Nice yeah, one. Definitely. Cheers. What's this? I see, Matthew. One layer. Oh, no. Spring must be upon us finally. <laughs> Until we film our vlog next week and it's peeing at Noah Raid again. But we've made it to Laverstock and we drive wasn't too bad in the end. No, no. Yeah, sorry, I had a three year old's dinosaur party to go to until about half one. Then Matt met me in Burton. So we've had a nice drive here, just enough time for Matt to sample a beer, but unfortunately he's like a he, he's literally a bear of a sore tooth this weekend. So he might not be talking for much of it which is good for the most of you here. <laughs> um, so on to today's match, it's 
probably means quite a lot for both teams, doesn't it? Because you've got Laverstock and Ford who are still in the mix for that fifth and final playoff place. And also Moneyfields, and I've done the mutter maths this time and I've double checked it. If they avoid the feat today, they should wrap up the league title. I'm pretty confident about that after last week's debacle. All I'm going to say is there's a lot of people who probably lost millions thanks to your campaign. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, that's LV's problem, not mine. So, what have you got for us today, <laughs> there, Matthew? <laughs> they have a stop and forward. Oh, it's like Craig said, they're sixth in the Premier League. Um, they lost four games. They've won 4 0 against Hive, which we were at to watch off camera. Uh, won 3 2 against Cows Away. Drew Dillon with Sherborne and beat, and more crucially, Baffins Milton Rovers. They beat them 3 1 because um, obviously Baffins are pushing for those players places as well so that's a good result against the rival yeah they've got um, Brockenhurst today so that's a, that's a big game but unfortunately that was just too too far logistics yeah. wise wasn't it today uh, their home record really good 110 drawn four lost two so they're going to put up a bit of a test today I feel for Moneyfield um, yes. their top scorers this season are Adam Borner Cameron Roach and Archie Lovegrove who've all got 13 goals but the interesting thing is they brought in Justin Bennett now to local non-league fans that name that name will ring a few bells. Gospel Borough's record ever goal scorer. He's played in Conference South for Gospel. He's played in the FA Cup for Gospel against league sides. Yeah. He's come in. He's scored six goals in nine games. So he's added that bit of experience up front for that promotion push to hopefully catch that last playoff place. Money feels, like Craig said, um, in possibly to win the title today. 95 points they stand on. Uh, 102 goals for. Only one defeat all season. Their last four is 4-1 against, win against Cows. 4-0 against Christchurch. They won. They won 6-2 against US Pompey in a Portsmouth derby. And drew 3 all of Brockenhurst during the week. After Brock were 3-0 up. At half-time, um, at yes. At half-time. Callum Laycock is 42 goals in 42 games. Ryan Penny has got 39 and 38. That's their front two. But they've also got Declan Sidon, who's been signed in for Petersfield. He scored 15 and 26 for Petersfield. He's coming for a bit of backup. But I mean, you've got to look at the other players as well. James Franklin out wide They've scored got four. strength all over the team, yeah. haven't they? James Franklin out wide got 14 goals. And full back Marco de has got eight. Yeah. Yeah, really, I'm really impressed with him. Yeah, he's been one of the best performers in the end of the yeah. season. Yeah, definitely. Especially from a defensive position yeah. as well. But I'm very much looking forward to today's game, and I think it could be, it could be a tight one today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the game. I'm just hoping I don't want to rip my own tooth out for a half time. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Come on, riff me arms are rooting. Step forward, half, step forward, half, step forward, half. 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 Oh, 
have scored. I have no idea. Callum Lake yeah, but how? Get that champagne on ice money fields because they are currently leading 2-0 at Laverstock and Ford. Well deserved, I thought, in the balance of play. Saw a bit of a sluggish first half an hour, wasn't it? Yeah. For, for the neutral, I think money fields look, didn't look nervous, but I think they just a little bit sluggish and you said a little bit nervous, but I wouldn't, wouldn't say nerves, but I mean, they're just feeling Laverstock out, who haven't offered a great deal going forward, but they've looked very organised in their defence, but it's taken money fields till just for half time to break them down, and I think plain sailing second half for them, potentially. Yeah, I mean, early, early sort of exchanges, I thought um, Laverstock were getting a bit of luck down this left hand right hand side right sorry hand side, yeah. and I, I think there was Arnold was particularly getting into a bit of space but I think I like the contrasting styles Moneyfield's three at the back wing backs to Souza and Hazel pushing forward and 4-3-3 three, three for Laverstock and I think Moneyfield's taking advantage of those gaps they're getting on the wing um, the first goal came after about 38 minutes uh, the Souza's cross wasn't the best um, but unfortunately for Laverstock defender he needed it straight back into the danger yeah, area and, and it probably fell to Someone you don't want it to fall to. Callum Laycock was on hand to all bundle it home. We've heard it came off his knee <laughs> by the sounds of it. So, but they all count. <laughs> and so he puts a one new up. And as for the second goal, Ryan Penry's free kick. Oh, brilliant! Beautiful, yeah. Mm. Free kick of champions, as I said. So, look forward to the second half. <laughs> Solid food at one point.
Great and congratulations, champions of the Wessex Premier League. How'd you Thank feel? You. Again. Again. Another week at US without the minus three. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm delighted. No one believed us. No, we started this journey June the 20th in pre season. In November, I had them running on the seafront one Saturday morning. The rain was coming in horizontal. They were, why are we doing this? Because you need it in minutes like this, moments like this. And I think it's paid off. I mean, at the start of the season, did you think you'd go losing only one game all season? Yeah, well, we've got two to go. <laughs> um, two to go, but we were well beat that game as well. That was our second game. I had a stone and I said to Rambo, like I say, on June the 20th, we're going to win the league this year. He came to the first pre-season training, went through pre-season, got beat at stone and he was like, I think you're lying. <laughs> but yeah, no, we are... We are where we are, as they say. And the boy has been absolutely magnificent throughout the whole season. I mean, you put together an unbelievable squad. Um, it's a small squad. It's a real small squad as well. I am, um, you know, the Elliot's missed out today. Gaz in here, Max in here. Um, Jeffers is injured, but pretty much that's the 21. And today's game, I think you showed two sides of your throwing till the tending off, attacking, absolutely steamrolling, and you just dug in to get that victory today. Yeah, I am. Um, you know, I was a bit disappointed with the sending off. I think Franco, it's fatigue. It's going to come. We won't be the only one that'll have that this season. There'll be lots, um, lots of clubs that'll go those sorts of things now because he's tired. He's been magnificent. I think he's probably been the best player we've had for the last three or four games. Yeah. And after what's been a seemingly long season with the weather, how will you be uh, celebrating our morning you know and the I've summer? Thank, I've got to thank Scott <laughs> Jones and I've got to thank Porchester. Because if they hadn't kicked us out of the ground, we'd still be have about 10 games to go yeah. looking at their, their pitch. <laughs> so thank God for that. Thank you very much, Mr. Deacon. It's always appreciated. <laughs> yeah. um, we went to Chai. We've, we've, when other games were getting called off, we were able to keep going, play, get it down. Our brand of football speaks for itself. And I yeah. think we've, we've taken, got dividends really. That's brilliant. Glenn, thank you for your time. Congratulations. Thank you. Enjoy your drink. Enjoy Thank you. Thank you. Big congratulations to Moneyfields, who are officially champions of the Wessex Premier League. After a 4-2 win today, they pretty much killed the game. First 15 minutes, second half, didn't they? Yeah. Just quality told. And then, man sent off, Leverstock came back towards the end, but too little too late for them. But the job was already done, and worthy winners, aren't they, you'd say? Yeah, I mean, like we said in the interview, it was two sides of the performance. Um, first half attacking football, 2-0 up, Ryan Perrish free kick and Callum Laycock. And then goals in the second half at the start, it was Ryan Penry again. Well worked move. Well worked move. Referee to cross the line, made it 3 0, got the penalty for 4 0. And then after that, the sending off changed the game a little bit. Ford and Laverstock took advantage of the, having that extra man. Um, Archie. Lovegrove. Lovegrove, thank you. Come off the bench, he scored two goals. I mean, his first one was across into the box and he sort of bundled it in at the back post. His second one, that's his stunner. Yeah, curled yeah. up right into the top Beautiful corner. Angle, but that. then I, I think. Money feels before the stage, like you've got to sum up for the whole season. That's how they've played their football, they've played attacking football, they've gone through it, but they've shown that different side in the second half where they hung on and yeah. ground out that win. Organisation, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, well deserved, brilliant. And sorry, Ryan, good news is we've got your free kick. <laughs> Bad news is I ran all the way down the touchline to take your penalty and I did everything. To Record your penalty, but I did everything but press the record button. But we got you celebrating, <laughs> so <laughs> never mind. Um, but yeah, it's been a good day out at Laverstock, yeah, hasn't it? It's yeah. a nice little ground. Definitely one we'll be coming back to next yes, season. Yeah. And well, hopefully we'll be going to John Jenkins and everything to get a bit of something to be one action. Money yes, we will do yeah. money fills. That's on our list for early next season, hundred yeah. percent. And congratulations, Brockenhurst, for a great win today against Baffins. <laughs> 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 and it looks like I'll be taking another trip to Baffins next Saturday as a result. So watch this space. Matt's just, we're just getting pummeled over football by a load of kids. So we'll see you next week. <laughs>